Hello my friends and welcome to Tastes from the Road, the show where I cook my favorite dishes for my travels around the world. Today we're baking up an amazing Kosovar layered pancake dish called flea. This dish was the most recommended by my Kosovar friends, so I thought I'd do my best and give it a shot. A true flea should be cooking in something called a soch, which is a circular oven filled with charcoal. We're going to make the oven version today, as I couldn't get my hands on a soch, unfortunately. Flea comes in two parts, and the recipe is incredibly easy. For the batter, you will need 500 grams of all-purpose flour, a half a liter of milk, 50 grams of melted butter, and a pinch of salt. For the cream part of this, you can use many different dairy items, but I settled for 200 grams of sour cream, 100 grams of thick yogurt, and 100 grams of iron. You could use whipping cream or heavy cream for this, but I like the richness and saltiness of the iron. A thick yogurt-based drink normally accompanying kebabs for lunch. To start, we add our melted butter to the bowl, followed by room temperature milk. Lastly, add your flour and mix until you get a medium thick dough, something close to a crepe batter. This dish is the epitome of, I live in a village and I have to cook all day. The lush mountainous regions of Kosovo mean lots of animal farming, fresh dairy, and plenty of time to cook. The ingredients are simple and local, and the preparation is a bit ridiculous and time consuming. Nevertheless, here we are. For the cream, start by adding the sour cream, followed by the yogurt. Lastly, pour in your iron, give it a mix, and you are ready to get Kosovar. Since Kosovo sits in the middle of the Balkan, surrounded by Albania, Serbia, and Northern Macedonia, I'm sure you can find similar variations of these dish in all of those countries. Now that we have our two mixes, we can assemble the beast. Step one is to butter a circular cake dish. A pie plate will also work. It depends how many layers you want to make. After we are all buttered, you can start by adding the dough in sort of a sun pattern to the bottom. This is my first mistake, as there was no way you can do this delicately with a ladle. If you're doing this, definitely go for a spoon. After your pattern is set, mine looks awful, but it's the bottom layer, so who cares? You can put it in a preheated 250 degrees Celsius oven until it starts to brown. The oven is key here because the original soch gets really, really hot. The trick to this dish is blasting it with heat to make brown bubbles or even burnt areas like you get on a good Naples pizza. My oven kind of sucks, so I was having trouble getting it hot enough. Once you feel the dough is ready, pull it out of the oven and do the same procedure again, putting the dough where the cooked dough is missing. It's sort of a dough jigsaw puzzle tower. Stick it in the back of the oven until done, three or four minutes, and take it out again. Next step, we need to add our cream layer. Lather the whole batter with a thin layer of cream, making sure to cover every nook and cranny. Don't add too much, but don't be too skimpy either. On the top of the cream layer, start the next layer in the sun pattern. It's a bit harder to determine where the lower layer is versus the higher layer, so you need to be precise. If a Kosovar grandma can do it, so can you. Now, you're in the flow. Batter, layer, oven, cream, batter, layer, oven, cream, until your dough runs out. You'll start building a tasty tower. Five layers, 10 layers, 15 layers. How high can you go? Once you find a nice stopping point, I did 12 layers, it's time to brown up the top. Don't put any more cream on there and get it nice and browned. I put a nice layer of butter and then cranked the oven super high to get some nice crunchy bits and browned parts. I think the major thing to know about this dish is that there has to be a contrast of crunchy and doughy. A complex symphony of cream and dough, as complex as the political situation probably but obviously tastier. Once it's all toasty, pull it out of the oven and you'll be rewarded with something truly beautiful. An afternoon well spent with a house smelling like the back of a bakery at 5 a.m. The typical way to eat this dish is by cutting off a nice piece and choosing either sweet or salty. I went sweet with a healthy drizzle of honey, but I've seen this served with fresh white cheese and pickled vegetables as well. Kosovar flea. Let's give it a try. So this dish is actually really cool. You got the crispy top, the inside kind of turns into like soft noodles and the uh, cream kind of clots into a cheese. And then the bottom is crispy again. Little drizzle of honey on top for some sweetness. And it makes one hell of a dish. A lot of work, but definitely worth it.